Do you like my wiener? Heading to go see my old roommate from Australia. It's been two years. Hey! Hello, how, how are, are you? How's everything? My eyeglasses are pretty tall, like Coke. These are. Dude. Nice. But they're cool. This is my second time this week in a mini coupe ever. Oh really? And I still feel like I'm in a tiny tank. Really? They're and actually then quite big. Yours has these little James Bond switches. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Is this the ejector seat one? Is that a dog in your purse or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Like. Try to grab a latte and a long black. Latte. Isn't this the only place that actually does this? Where they serve the double espresso and then a side of hot water sheet? Nowhere else does it. Right. Otherwise, they screw it up. This is my first time driving in Melbourne, even though I lived here for almost five years. So good luck. Pray for me. We made it. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Hey, doing? Look good. What I found. Good to see you. Where did you find him? In the city, oh, wandering. And he's such a tourist. I am. Uh, oh, mother of God. Ow! Watch him scream. Ow, you mother of Ow! See? Oh! <laughs> Works every time. Oh. That sucks. That one's not too bad. Oh, that's pretty shit. Oh. Alright, try that. Oh. See you on Facebook. Yeah. All right. So how are your parents? Thank you for all the work, buddy. All right, buddy. I appreciate yeah. it. How do you source the, the meats and produce? And well, the meats, we get, uh, a lot of our stuff we get from Flinders Island in uh, Tasmania. The producers of the best lamb in Australia. Basically anything that's ethically sourced, grass-fed. Why? I have I mean, food cruelty and this sort of thing, but mainly you can actually taste it. You can taste it in your food. You know, things that are intensively farmed just tend to be filled with antibiotics. And once you have real meat and stuff like that, it actually tastes, you can taste the difference. You really can. 
anyone says you can't, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and the produce, I've got my own fruit and veg suppliers, and plus I have um, some growers that we use, and uh, we do a lot of foraging and stuff along the coastline, so do all our sea vegetables and things like that, like sea lettuces, which we dehydrate into emulsions, and we blanch and we use on like ceviches. And when it comes to mushroom season, we do a lot of mushroom foraging, and I do a lot of diving and stuff as well for the restaurant. Well, we do uh, a bit of diving for abalone, so we, let, we only take a few, you know, just here, just as garnishes. We dive down for a lot of our lettuces and sea urchin. We take a lot of sea urchin for sea urchin butters. <laughs> you know, you don't get much more organic than that. Okay. So we have our lamb neck here, which is, we have put in a variety of spices, basically South American sort of flavor, smoked paprika, chili, cumin, coriander. We, so we eat the lamb neck. Um, overnight, at a very low temperature, so it comes through nice and tender, but still holds its shape. And once it comes out, we press it, and we take that and we cut it into these thin slices, which we dust in our own spice mix. Basically the same ingredients that are upon this. We do that just so we can um, put a nice little crust on it. So we put these on the grill. We like to use lamb neck because it has a lot of intramuscular and intermuscular fat through it. So when it when you cook it, it has layers of meat and fat all the way through it as well. It makes it nice and tender. And for the lamb neck as well, we have a, a chipotle and black bean hummus. So basically all it is is chipotle, black eye beans and hummus and salt. That's all it is. We just put a nice little smear of that on there. Have a lime, put on the char grill. Just get a nice little bit of caramelization through it. A little bit of bitterness will come through. So we have a mixture here of our uh, herbs, which is one that our, some of our growers do for us. Like, depending on what they can grow or what they have for us, this is nice little mix. It is basically mustard cresses, uh, sunflower leaf, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of sharpness, and a little bit of heat, especially from some of the radish tops that we have in there. And we garnish it with a burnt onion oil, which is just, we literally char onions until they're black. It goes really, and then we put them through an oil, and it really helps to accentuate the nice caramel flavors that we're getting out of the lamb meat. One more time, what's in the sauce? Jalapeno, mint, onions, lime juice, a little bit of vinegar and some sugar as well. A little bit of black salt that we put up on there as well. Okay. And then we garnish our lamb neck with a nice fresh, uh, sour, slightly sweet uh, jalapeno mint pepper. Which we find You've got a lot of very powerful ingredients, a lot of very strong flavours, especially with the lamb neck, and we need something that's got a little bit of vinegar to help cut the richness of the neck. We have our lime, just so we get some nice little lime over there. And then we have our spice mix. Just as a final garnish, put a little bit over the plate. And that there is our Flinders Island lamb neck, with a chipotle and black bean hummus and a jalapeno and mint pepper. It does. Because you're in the presence of an angel right now.